All right. Now, for those of you who have grown up in Christian households and you've been shown the word and for some reason you maybe you've, your faith has diminished and you've moved on to different things like maybe astrology or, you know, some kind of cultism or something like that. And you're you know using that, you know, as as a medium to, to get something out of life. Well, let me tell you something. Satan can actually give you things, too. He's the God of this world. He can, he can actually give you any, any of these material things that you need. But I think for some of you, God is actually working through the Holy Spirit. To, to You may be working through a deity, but God is giving you things because he sees that you're in need and he's merciful. And, 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 and to turn away from that and say, oh, well, you know, it's, it's Saturn or it's, it's Jupiter and, 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 and the planets and Venus and all this that are giving you stuff. Man, that, that, that's, that's the ultimate sin right there to, to give the glory to something else when the Holy Spirit has acted in your favor. You know, that's, and that's eternity, this is eternal fire that we're talking about, man. Okay, now in the Bible... This is called the unforgivable sin, and it starts at Matthew chapter 12, verse 31, where it says, Wherefore, I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. And whosoever spake it a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever spake it against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him. Neither in this world, neither in the world to come. Okay, so what does this mean? Uh, as you know, Jesus Christ was persecuted. He had stones thrown at him. He was whipped. People denied him. You know, they called him many awful things. And yet, the Bible says you will be forgiven for these things. But what you will not be forgiven for is if you deny the Holy Ghost. Yeah, the power of God that brings, the spirit that brings you all good things, okay? And as a Christian, you should know what this is. You know, it, it gives the Holy Ghost, when it's in us, it gives us hope. It gives us a lot of confidence. And, you know, it gives us, and even sanctity. The Holy Spirit gives us warmth, Wherever we may be, this is this is what it does, and you know God interacts with us through this. You know, uh, bestows blessings upon us. Some of us, you know, for whatever reason, we can't, you know, uh, make the pay the bills or whatever it is. But for some particular reason, there's always someone there. There's always a situation that happens. You have the coincidences where something, you know, positive happens. Something comes to us. Someone reaches out to us. You know, and hey, you know, you need a job or something like that. Just when you're you're, you're down in your luck and you feel like you are at the you're at the bottom of the barrel and uh, and there's nothing for you. It's the Holy Spirit that's doing stuff like that, okay? And this is working through many of us. Some of us who know God and some of us that have not even received the Word. I believe this is working through them, you know, because God is there. God is watching. God knows everything. And so, what some people will do is they'll receive blessings. And uh, attribute the blessings from the Holy Spirit to a different source or a different, another entity or whatever it is. Uh, some people would just blatantly say, it is Satan who is blessing them, okay? When it clearly is not. And this is especially a horrible thing to do and an awful thing to do if you are a Christian and you are familiar and you've been taught the Word, okay? And you know about the Holy Ghost. Okay, this is what this is saying. This is unforgivable if you do that. Okay, and uh, so you want to think real hard about this. You don't want to play around with stuff like this. And as long as you live, I honestly think that you could be forgiven even if you were to do have done something like this. If you are to turn away from these things, okay, and repent, come back to God through Jesus. If you're, you know, as your Lord and Savior, I really do think so. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. 